it going? Oh, can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. So, hi, I'm Sam Derland. I'm super excited to be back here again for our little Wednesday afternoon live sessions. And I'm kind of varying a little bit what this one is about and trying to become more organized so people get even more value from this awesome time that I get to spend with them. Um, and so today we're really going to talk about thankfulness. And then with our next show, which is next week, we're really going to talk about skin and GI health. And a lot of times people may not make that relationship that both are connected, but they so are. So it will be fun to talk about that. So talking about events that we've had last week and events coming up next week. Um, last week we did our first Simple Sundays and I had so much fun at it. And we did boxing and yoga. And Kathy is amazing that does the sound bath yoga. And with boxing it was so fun too because I just had the most fun watching people initially be nervous to hit me in the body and in the mitts and then once they start doing it they get this look in their eye like oh, this feels so good to let all of this go and I'm like I know it does so I just found it so fun and so uplifting to watch people um, let go of a lot of this angst that they held on to and have fun and feel like it's okay to stand up for yourself and it's okay to just just fight back so I had a great time. So hopefully we'll do more of those. And then also starting Monday is our Simple Sundays program. And that is just, we are totally going to walk across the United States. And after we walk across the United States, we'll walk around it again. And we'll go to like the national parks and amusement parks. And so the goal is every day, each person who's doing simple steps with us will document their 10,000 steps. And as we all put together our 10,000 steps, because each 10,000 steps is five miles, or philosophically, 500 calories. So, and it's so easy to do. Being well, as I say all the time, is not hard, it's actually easy. Your body is very forgiving. We just have to prioritize ourselves. So 10,000 steps can be walking around your home. It could be a walk outside the home. You could walk up and down the steps 10,000 times. Like, I don't care what it is, but if we all get 10,000 steps, we're gonna walk to these various destinations together and hold each other accountable. And then each time we go somewhere, we'll get little stickers in our passport book and it will be so fun. So if you want to do this with us, you can always call to um, join up with us whenever you want. And uh, we're super excited, excited to start. So um, the other thing too I wanna mention is we have our super exciting skin event with our secret next Wednesday. That um, event is from Oh, 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday here at the office and what we're doing is we're highlighting our secret machine which is our microneedling radio frequency device that helps with fine lines and wrinkles, acne scars, stretch marks. You can use it all over your body. I'm doing my leg, um, I've done my face and I just so love this because it has no downtime and it's not very uncomfortable at all and that's what people want these days. They want to look better, feel better, but not take too much time out of their daily life because time is a factor for absolutely everyone. So we try to be really mindful about that. So anyone that wants to come, just let us know and we'll have really yummy, delicious treats because Jen over at the J-Hook Club rocks it and she makes these really great trays. So I'm excited for people to come to this one because I always take the trays home and eat them myself if nobody comes. So please help me eat my food. Okay, and the other really exciting thing is that Lauren is flying back to her home in Pennsylvania this weekend and you know she's getting married in September so I also thought wouldn't this be fun to be part of her wedding from Kansas well little did I know when you live in Pennsylvania and you get married there's some cookie table that everybody has so she doesn't really care about the cake she cares about all these different types of cookies and they have all these boxes and I found this very intriguing so that being said I thought how can we participate how can we all participate maybe we all could make part we cookie recipes so feel free to either email us in on the website or like Facebook or whatever it is let us know your cookie recipe and then we'll start baking them and tasting them and then I told Lauren she could choose which one she likes the best and we will rank them and it will be so fun so we will um, try to find the best cookie she does not get married till next September so we have time to mastermind the most creative amazing cookie list you have ever seen so I'm super pumped to try and make this a reality so feel free to do that and I'll keep mentioning this every week about the cookie thing because I really want to make this happen the other thing too I want to talk about today is we 
uh, Amy, the amazing Amy, made our fabulous turkey. And I just would like to show it and what people are thankful for for Thanksgiving before I make. So this is our turkey. So this week, what we try to do is have patients when they come in, put the turkey feathers on. Because it is so easy. Do you remember when you're in grade school and you did all those things, like you had the pilgrim shaking the butter, and then we have field day, and then we have a turkey hat day, and there's so many great things, and when you do those things, it just makes you happy because you remember being a kid, and that was usually a pretty fun time. So these are the things that patients put on that they are thankful for, and I also want you to know that over the Christmas, you know, Christmas, New Year type stuff. We're also going to try and make ornaments and things like that just because art class is fun. So if people come in and think, oh, I don't want to do that. That's for kids. I'm like, kids are cool and having fun is awesome. So, you know, I think I should, I'll leave the turkey out for longer just so people could see what people are thankful for. But look forward also to making some Christmas cards. Not Christmas cards, Christmas ornaments. Okay, so I'll put that down. Sorry about the sun too, but you know. I'm not sorry about the sun because the sun is energy and beautiful. So today, what I thought too, is I'm just gonna read from the little book that um, is just called Simple Wellness. Um, and basically how I wrote this book, I wrote it with a friend, Barbara Warner, which I didn't know Barbara very much beforehand, but just got to know her much more throughout this because over the last few years of my life, I've just processed, I process by talking, and writing so I would go home and I think I wrote like several hundreds of emails and I'd write little messages to myself but I really wanted to try and compile it in an organized way to help people get better so she took my hundreds of emails and my hundreds of notes to myself and made them make sense and so how I look at this is it's just kind of like a guidebook to what we try to help people with here and, and it's a part of our journey of how we've gotten here as well um, and so one of my favorite parts is the conclusion part. So I just wanted to read that today in the mind of being thankful because I think what we could all be the most thankful for is our wellness and our bodies and our families. And so here we go. Okay. I feel like this is library class. <laughs> okay. Your body has been talking to you your whole life. Have you been listening? Never underestimate its power or that power of the spirit it houses. Your body has the ultimate healing power and it's built to heal itself if given the opportunity. I believe that wellness is all about embracing that journey. We don't have, to, we don't have control over others or nature, but we have more control than we think over our mind, our body, and our spirit. The first third of life is about finding confidence in ourselves. The middle is about work, procreation, or mastering a skill. And the last third is about pondering what it all has meant and coming to peace with our journey. Listening to our body becomes even more important as we age. I want to remind you to keep in mind the importance of living in the present, of persistence, of love, of faith, and of connection, because these are crucial to a successful wellness journey. Remember, true wellness is when your mind and body are in sync and you are honoring the uniqueness that is you, knowing that you share humanity with all. Slow things down so you can be open to the messages that are there for you, so you can hear what your body wants. Presence is a peaceful place where each day is colorful and full of messages, if you're willing to see them. You cannot look in the rearview mirror and be present. You can't look too far forward to be present either. You have to look at now. You have to look at today. At whatever age you are, whatever gender you are, remember that you matter. Take time for yourself and for your body's maintenance. Your body is your ultimate warrior, but you have to listen to it. Believe in yourself, and even if something more than yourself. Believe that you're here for a reason and that you have nothing to prove to anyone. You were born perfect and beautiful. You are unique. Revel in that thought. Don't worry about being like everyone else or trying to fit in. Celebrate who you are. Know that you matter, that everything matters. Never give up on your wellness journey. It's a miracle, even the thought that you're alive. It's a miracle that there can always be some measure of improvement. If something has changed, your body is telling you to fix it. Learn what you need to fix it and then fix it. You have absolutely nothing to fear from your body. It is your guide, your friend, 
your protector, and your warrior. See it that way and learn to love it rather than fear it. Flood it with energy and it will lift you to great heights. And remember, your body is so forgiving that you only have to get all of this just a little right according to the genetic rule book that we all live by. Often we fear failure, but there's really no fear in failure in wellness. The only failure is in never trying to adjust your direction when needed or in giving up and sinking. Choose to try again, using the wisdom of the changes you've made. Choose to stand up for your wellness. Every time something does not go your way, think of it as a force guiding you to turn. There's no failure in learning, growing, and adjusting. There's only accumulated knowledge of the unique person that is you who is seeking to satisfy your needs. You can only feel yourself. And if you feel that you've done that, forgive yourself because your body forgives you. Keep faith with the spirit that is within you and is leading you on your journey. Don't spend too much time wondering why the journey is both painful and joyful. Just keep centered and await the truth to be revealed to you in your heart, in your sleep, during a long walk at the most unlikely times. It will come rushing to you when the time is right, which is not necessarily when you demand it. Trust in your own personal timeline. Stay connected to other living creatures and to nature. We feed off one another. Our energies and synchronicity with others bring endless beauty. Our energies in continual unresolved cross purposes with one another brings pain and darkness. We need to lift each other up in humility, believing that no one is better or more right than another. The goal needs to be better outcome for all. We cannot achieve wellness in a vacuum. The human spirit craves positive connection. It does not want to be alone. We need to take responsibility for the world we have created and its effect on our bodies. We have to reduce the stressors that cause imbalance and illness. Change takes energy and self-accountability. It takes recognizing the unique factors that affect us and the common factors that we share. Ultimately, we should be able to think and move in a high quality way until our last day on earth. There is a finite amount of energy in the world, but whether it is more positive than negative is up to each of us. Making the world a better place starts with each of us. Every thought counts, every moment counts. And as you add more positive thought to your life, the energy around you will change. This journey has been one of the most painful and rewarding experiences for me. I'm gonna skip some of this part about myself because I'm like, ugh, you don't need to hear about those things. Um, well, actually, I wanna read this part, actually. Okay. So this journey has been one of the most painful and rewarding experiences for me. I've given up my classic community of medicine, but at the same time, I have found a complete love and forgiveness within my own family. And I've felt greater joy in helping my patients. Healing now is something not what I was taught. Instead, I was, what I was taught is a framework for understanding wellness. I now understand more from my heart than from my head. I'm confident that everything in my life has happened for a reason and has brought me exactly to where I am. I am thankful for all the joy and all the pain. I truly believe in what we do. Our body is guiding us to higher places and our minds are astounded at times at that direction. Let go a little more every day of what you think you should be and learn who you truly are. To think of life this way is energizing while at the same time being terrifying and even harder than a lot of other things we've done in life. While sometimes you can feel alone, you know that ultimately you are never alone. I'm sure I'm meant to be on this journey. Sometimes I cry whenever I this, I can't help it. <laughs> um, sorry. Anyway. It's just an emotion like everyone else. It becomes clear every day but we can't force the timetable or know what's around each corner. You just have to have faith. I hope I can help you see this and trust in it and believe it. And I hope to give you a different perspective on wellness because that's the reason I do what we do. I love seeing people get better because life is, is about more than surviving. It's about living. It's about a journey with twists and turns and peaks and valleys. And the story of all of us is being written at this very minute. I hope in writing this book, 
it's written to help you on your journey be a little less painful and a little more beautiful and to help you understand your warrior body and listen to it. Don't lose faith, don't feel alone, and believe in your wellness. Believe in your power, and certainly don't fear aging because it's your, your body has endless regenerative capacity. I tell patients all the time that life's journey is hard, but your body is actually easy. You can sculpt it and regenerate it as long as you work within its rule book. Wellness does not start with medicine. It starts with the idea that it's okay to be you, whoever you are. I accept you for who you are, and that's the most powerful thing that I can do to help you get better. I went to medical school thinking I was learning to heal people because doctors are supposed to fix things. But I've learned I went to school to better understand the human body. Now I'm an educator and a voice from your body to you. So often you are your own healer, and it is my job to teach you how to do that. You have ownership of your health, and you have to want it. I wish you peace and happiness in your journey towards wellness, a journey I myself am on as well. I hope to have the privilege of traveling with you. So I'm just thankful for everything. I'm thankful for this moment. I'm thankful for what this is. I'm thankful for my family, and I'm thankful for you. So I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. We're all very thankful for you, Sam. <laughs> and that's all. I won't cry next time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And no questions today. We'll just do them next week. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.